Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your next 24 hours, okay? All right, so you guys just know that you're a diamond. Just know that you're special. Continue to shine bright like a diamond. Please do not hesitate to give the reads a thumbs up, you guys, as soon as you come in. Um, this is how you support the channel, and this is how the channel grows, okay? You know you're a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. All right, so we're going to get into a prayer because a prayer is always a must, okay? Let's get into that prayer. Tap into the energy and see what the angels want you to know for the next 24 hours. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, for the next 24 hours, just know that this reading is a general reading, not a personal one. With that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. The rules are always reversed, okay? Keep that in mind. Also, you guys, cross watchers are more than welcome to be a part of this read. Um, do the absolute same, which is taking what's yours and leave the rest. Do not close the reads. It's not meant to be forced. If you are interested in having a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of this video to schedule an appointment for a personal reading, okay? All right, let's see. All right, angels, what's the message here, please? Tap it into the energy of Aries. And the next 24 hours, what is it that you need me to share with Aries for the next 24 hours, please? Angels, answer to spirit, guys. What's the message for Aries? The next 24 hours here, please. Past, present, future. Tap into that. What you didn't see into the back of the deck is the King of Wands. Oh, the King of Wands. For some of you guys here, I feel like you're just a natural born leader here. I feel like you have a vision here. You have a vision to succeed. You have a vision to have the willpower to do what you know is rightfully honored to you. Um, I feel like for some of you, you you know, you're getting ready to do big things. And I feel like big things are coming towards you here. But there's work that needs to be put in. Okay, all right, so let's talk about the recent past here. Now, what I see here as far as the recent past is concerned, your next 24 hours is, is giving me the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Tower. You definitely had sour, uh, uh, you definitely had a, a, a tragic situation here. The Tower is here, it really tells me that you had a major arcana in the past. Where something just kind of wasn't going right. Situation was just twisted. People was playing mind games. Things was going further left and further right. Further right and further left. It's like no matter what you tried to do. You just couldn't seem to put the pieces of the puzzles together. And this is because you have a page of cups energy here in the reverse. Now this person here is um, dealing with immaturity. They're not on your level of giving and receiving. Okay. I feel like this person is a taker okay is what i'm hearing uh those i also feel like their energy you guys is seriously blocked all right whatever this however you want to place them right now in your life this person their energy is blocked blocked off from yours okay and this is why you constantly have in this art this harsh season that you're going through you feel like every single season you feel like you're going through the same things major major kind it has to be let go and set free now i feel like there's something that might have either happened in the recent past or something that you had maybe manifested to kind of go away, but something came or either left very fast. But however it went, someone still suffered a major kind of here in the recent past, okay? Um, in the present, 
we do have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. We also have the Ace of Wands here, and we also have the Magician in the reverse. The, the Ace of Wands is showing it upright, though, okay? Um, but what I really feel, though, um, as, far, as far as this um, present is concerned, okay? Um, I feel like... For some of you guys, you, you know, you're trying to balance something out here. It could be work, okay? It could be play. It could be whatever. But I feel like it's really attached to family situation here with the Queen of Pentacles. In the reverse, it's all about money. It's all about manifesting one's life. But someone is either very, it's like you're not able to do that. But some of you may have family who's kind of helping you to get on your feet or whatever. But you have to be committed, okay? Hmm. It's really calling for commitment, really. If you're looking for something new, the ace of the ace of wands here. First, you have to be your own inspiration here, okay? You have to use power for something new here with the ace of wands. Um, you have to come up with something more of a creative side of you, a reflection of some of something that you may need to start new or never tried. But it's all about new beginnings here. And it's all about your potential and what you can bring to a situation. What not only you could bring towards your job or to whatever, you, whatever you're trying to manifest here, but also in love, okay? Now, you can do this because this is a magician here. And regardless it showed in the reverse or regardless it showed in the upright, which it did show in the reverse here, you're really attached to a manipulative energy here. And I feel like this manipulative energy is what you're dealing with in the past here. This is the Page of Cups. That person, they're very manipulative. And this is why you're constantly bumping into, bumping into a major kind of with this person. Because see, you're able to see through this person thoroughly. You're seeing through this person thoroughly. But because you're still attached for some reason... You're having failures and setbacks here, but you're able to clear this manipulation and mind games here because at this point you can't plan anything with this person simply because this person, this person is immature. They're not dealing with maturity on your level. That makes sense. You can have all the sex in the world with this person and it feels so damn good, but out of that, you're not manifesting anything. You're not growing. You're not growing in love. You're not growing in a house. You're not growing in a car. You know, you're just not damn growing, okay? All right, so what you didn't see coming, and I need to clarify this, what you didn't see coming, all right? This, again, is your next 24 hours. And then we do have the three of pentacles here. I'll get into that in a moment for you guys. We have the moon in the reverse here, the knight of wands also in the reverse, and the queen of swords. Um, you're just going to have to really tap into your perspective here. You're going to have to be a thinker, a quick one that is, and just know how to organize your life this time around. Angels are saying that they're giving you a second chance, a third chance. But some of you guys are running out of chance because you might have already used up all the resources. And you're just saying that you have to be independent, okay? This is what I feel like you need to know here. This is what's coming. Um, situations changing for you, but a lack of setbacks. And let me explain. For some of you, you start something and then you don't finish what you started. You're not able to complete what you started. This is the cycle that has to end. This is what I'm seeing here with the world in the reverse, a lack of closure. It doesn't matter what kind of a closure it is. At the end of the day, your life is your life and your time is your life, okay? Um, hmm. This person is just, uh, they have a scattered energy and, 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 and because they have a scattered energy, it sets a lot of things in delay um progress um happiness love um whatever you're trying to do it just feels like you're not getting there for some of you working and you're making good money and you're just not getting there 
it's like, where the hell is my money? You don't even know where your money is going. Because it's just too many frustration here. You're not happy. You're not happy. And if you're not happy, then nothing around you can be manifested the way that you really want it to be. This is what I'm seeing here. Okay? All right. So we have the Three of Pentacles here. Um, the Three of Pentacles in the upright really tells me that, you know, you know, you're trying to be a teamwork here. You're trying to really build something with this person. You're trying to have fulfillment with this person and just trying to do the best that you can as a team. Okay. Let's figure out why this is coming through here because I'm feeling like <clears throat> you might have want to learn more. Or they might have needed to learn more. All right. What is the next 24 hours? Tapping into the energy of this Three of Pentacles here. All right. What is this Three of Pentacles and why is here? Why do I need to clarify this Three of Pentacles for Aries, please? The next 24 hours at this time. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. What is this, please? What is the Three of Pentacles? All right, so what you didn't see is blockages here. The Ace of Cups in the reverse is, is something that's blocked, you guys. All right, there's a lot of blockages here. All right, so we, this is the four, the Three of Pentacles. Oh, man. The Two of Swords and the Moon and the King of Pentacles. This is what's clarifying this Three of Pentacles here. So it is fear for sure, okay? There's definitely fear here. Now, this King of Pentacles energy did come through. It, and, and whenever I get this King of Pentacles, it tells me a lot of things. It really tells me that a person is either stable or this person has money or this person, you know, is all about security and power and discipline and abundance. However, it also could tell me other things, even though a person seems to have their life together it doesn't necessarily mean that they have their life in order right um i feel like there's no communication coming through with this king of pentacles energy because you have this two of swords in the reverse i'm here in indecision so this person is not really sure where they're going in love here there's a lot of confusion coming from this king of pentacles see what i'm saying even though this person seems to have it together, it doesn't mean that they have their life in order, right? There's something that's been hidden here. It could be a secret or something, something that's connected to an illusion and fear. Maybe this person is afraid to really give their all, really want, afraid to let their guys on or whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever they're feeling like they can't give, but just feel like, you know, you tried. You tried, you might have tried to manifest something here with this person. And you tried and you tried and you tried, but at the end of the day, you ended up putting two of swords in the reverse, indecision, and confusion, and information download is going left. Okay? Um, I really feel like, you know, just a major blockage is here with this uh, Ace of Cups here. This blockage is, you guys. Something is ending. Okay? Something is ending. Something is over here. Something is changing. And what is changing is a situation that's connected to this King of Pentacles. It is also connected to this Knight of Cups as well. Because, see, this King of Pentacles is very charming, okay? It is very charming. That's, that's the energy here. The Knight of Cups, a very charming, um, very good sexual partner. Maybe they know how to give a mean head or whatever. It feels really good. It's, yeah, they, they good that way. But at the end of the day, there's a major arcana here. Okay? So it's, it's telling me decision time. Well, I hope that's reading did help. This is your next 24, you guys. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Simple by leaving your initials down below. Pray for me as I'm always so praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you're always fine. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the next 48 hours. This is going to be your quick read for today, okay? You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. Also, my darlings, please go ahead and give your Aries a thumbs up. 
um, this is how you support your channel and this is um, exactly how your channel grows right so let's get into prayer tap into the energy and see what angel wants you to know for the next 48 hours Heavenly Father, as I come before you, ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so, Aries, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one. So, with that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. The roles are always reversing, so it may go either way. Cross watchers, um, please, um, you could always be a part of these reads if you would like to be. Um, just know that the roles are also the same for you guys as well. Now, if you are interested in having a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using, in, using the information that I've provided for you guys, and that will be in the description of the video, okay? Alright. Okay. Alright, angels and sisters, spirit, that's what's the message. What's the message at this time for Aries? What is the next 48 hours for Aries? What is the next 48 hours for Aries at this time? Alright, so Aries, what you didn't see coming to the back of the deck is the justice been here. Justice has been served, okay? I feel like there's either a separation that is coming through or someone is just lying constantly or the truth is trying to come through or justice is going to make this happen for you. Um, it could either be um, a cause by a situation that happens. Someone is either paying for something they or about to okay chain of reaction here situation where you're trying to balance but having a hard time balance that justice is coming through okay now we also have the four of pentacles in the reverse we're going to tap into that and see what angel wants you to know as far as that is concerned let's get into the past here then we'll do the present and then we'll also do the future okay give you some advice at the end okay all right, so we do have the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands in the reverse, also the Queen of Swords. Now, there's a situation where, you know, had my, something might have come to an end. Someone might have put a relationship to an end in the past, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, this feels more like a sudden breakup or it's a feeling of where someone tried to balance out a relationship but had a hard time doing that. Or just someone just felt um, there was no harmony in the relationship anymore. There was no peace. There was no value. There was no reason to continue for whatever. It could have been a distraction. It could have been just this person just lost interest or whatever. Or something that came in between of a situation. But because we have the Knight of Wands here and the Queen of Swords, it really evaluates what I've been really saying. It's like whatever this, whatever had caused this breakdown in the past... I do feel it was um, an energy that caused major delay. There was something in delay here. Okay. Um, not only do I feel like there was something that made a situation go into the delay category, but I also feel like someone in this connection was very frustrated. Not only frustrated with you, but frustrated within themselves. All right. Um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. It was a major blockage. Here. Something stopped okay suddenly um but i do feel you know what you may have tried to do was try to organize or try to fix the connection but the connection couldn't have been saved because it took it it's going to take two to tangle and i feel like you know even though you were trying to be independent or wanting to be independent your person on the other end was the total opposite okay now, what I do see um, in the present here is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords um, in the upright, the Six of Wands in the reverse, and then we have the Lover's card. Wow, okay? Now, in the present, I really feel like there's a decision that's trying to come through here. 
Now, I feel like this decision that's trying to come through here because this is definitely in the reverse. I really feel like this decision is necessary for you to make. This choice is necessary for you to make a transition right now. Uh, for some of you, you're already going through this transitioning phase, okay? Um, I feel like you are definitely on the right path here. Um, it, it may feel kind of narrow, but just know this for sure that you are definitely on the right path simply because we have a six of wands here in the reverse and the lovers here. There's a lot of toxicity that is happening right now in your present. Um, a lot of things that it doesn't, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. Okay. And, you know, despite your trial and despite your tribulation, I feel like you have a lot of dispute or feel like you have definitely been disrespected here. Um, I feel like for some of you, you might have lost your confidence or whoever this person is here in the Two of Cups, they energy had lost confidence in the circle, in the circumstances. That was the only thing that could have really kept you guys together. Your next 48 is thought your next 48 hours um Aries is having me feel like there's some kind of a third party situation here. Yes, there is still love here with the connection, but the love that is here with the connection is one that I feel that like has been spread it out. Okay. Um, I do feel like, you know, for some of you, you could have been married to this person or maybe you're not. Maybe they're married to someone else. It feels more like a union, but this union is not one that is complete or not one that is set in stone so far a relationship with this person, right? Now, I feel like it does lead some kind of alignment here. Something needs to be set. Um, for some of you guys, choices that needs to be done here. As far as making the decision, uh, what it is that you really want or what is it that they really want. And at this point, you can't really go by what they want. You have to go by what is that you need for you at this moment. Now, what you didn't see coming is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Moon here. So, that really tells me that something has really been hidden. Something has been really kept in the dark for some time, okay? Now, it really caused a lot of anxiety for some of you guys, and this is why the Ace of Pentacles is also here. Just keep it in mind that someone might have lost an opportunity, an opportunity in love, an opportunity in finances, an opportunity in something that was trying to be manifested here, simply because you are attached to an energy that carries a seven of sword. A seven of sword that's dealing with betrayal, a seven of sword that's dealing with deception. Um, and this person constantly gets away with this. Someone takes this person back or they're constantly going back and forth with this betrayal, with these lies, and, and, and just getting away with anything or everyone, okay? Um, I really feel like, you know, whatever this is, um, because we do have this Ace of Pentacles here and we do have this Moon here. It's like it ties all the little knots together, Aries. Your next 48 hours is, is, is saying that you didn't have a plan set in place. Or for this relationship, it really needed a plan that was set in place. Something needed to be set in stone here. And it wasn't, okay? And because it wasn't, the structure kind of fell flat here. Okay, someone need to not only put the plan in place, but have the plan stay and don't move. It's called a foundation, you guys. Um, stability, balance, everything that comes with a union. And I already know that someone had put an end to, it could have been a soulmate connection. It could have been a twin flame connection. It could have been whatever. But someone decided to put an end to a situation here. Um, I do feel like someone just kind of lost it or dealing with lonesomeness or whatever. Okay. Now, we do have this uh, Four of Pentacles here. Now, the Four of Pentacles um, is what also what you didn't see, but it did come through anyway. 
And not only did this four of pentacles show up, but it did show in the reverse, in the reverse and also with the justice here. So whatever this person is holding on to or whatever, this could be you because roles could be reversed at any time. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody's either holding on to you because of greed or somebody's just holding on to you because you're just manipulative or somebody's just self protecting or dealing with some kind of a self protection here or whatever this is the roles could be flipped so you have to take that how it suits you but again we're dealing with a person who really their intentions hard to have things swaying the way that they wanted to sway now I just felt just now that I'm not sure because I don't want to go back in the video. I'm, I'm not going to know for sure, but I might have prayed earlier, but I still have the need to pray. I don't know why. I just felt the need to pray for some reason. I might have missed it before. Maybe the angels are telling me that I didn't pray before when I started the reading. I usually do that before I start, but for some reason reason the angels are telling me that I need to pray and so because of that I'm going to get the angel here that wants me to do that so let's see what is the angel here that is insisting that I pray right here what is the angel here that is insisting that I pray what is this angel it's the angels of gratitude all right so the angels of gratitude is the number 13 just know that this angel of gratitude number 13 is a very lucky angel okay I was born on May 13th and my angel which is my sister she gained their wing December 13th you guys and the number 13th is a very special number okay now this angel is telling me that um, you need to know your purpose. You need to deal with gratitude here and finding peace and, and, and balance because something feels unbalanced where you need to have some kind of an abundance here. They're also telling me here that, you know, you have to use wisdom moving forward and also find a way of forgiveness. They're also telling me here that compromising is not an issue here. Okay. Um, you have to find compassion within you first. Be mindful about your surroundings. Be mindful about who you're entertaining your energy. Angels are saying that you are going to find perspective in your decisions here. In the things that comes towards you. Okay. Knowing your worth and putting yourself first at all costs. All right. All right. So this is going to be your next 48 hours. Um, you guys, um, t uh, again, it, it could resonate with however you want it to resonate. Take us your Z the rest. Thumbs up your on me on your way out. Also, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Simply by leaving your initials down below. Pray for me as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to the channel. It's always a blessing to have you guys right here. All right, so this is going to be your quick read. We're going to get right into your no contact, okay? All right, just know that you're a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Also, my darlings, please when I stay to give you a reach, a thumbs up for me as soon as you come in, okay? Don't waste no time. Just, just, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up, honey, okay, when you come in. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. When you thumbs up the videos, you guys, YouTube will see that you like it. And they will they will have no choice to see that you liked it. And they'll have to push it through into a wider audience. The channel will grow, the video will grow. Alright? And those blockages that have been trying to block the channel, those blockages will will disappear. It yeah, because the power of God is working when you hit that thumbs up okay okay that's your offering so go ahead and hit that thumbs up all right so we're going to get into a quick prayer because the prayer is always a must here we're going to cut and clear cut and clear um free up this read it's going to be a no contact let's jump into a prayer you guys heavenly fathers i come before you ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words. 
and giving me the right messages to share with the ones that really needy, really truly needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. All right, so Aries for the for this no contact read, just know that it's a general one, and not a personal one. So. With that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. The rules are always reversing, you guys. Keep it in mind. Also, cross watchers, you're more than welcome to be a part of these reads. Okay. Don't force the reads. It's not meant to be forced. Send it back to the universe where it came from, you guys. All right. Now, if you do need to have a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys. That will be in the description of today's video to schedule an appointment for a personal one. All right, let's get into it. All right, angels, what's the message here, please? This is a no contact for Aries at this time. This is the no contact for Aries at this time. Angels, ancestors, my spirit guides. What is the message, please, for Aries at this time? All right, that's jumping out. That didn't waste any time to come out, though. The Eight of Pentacles, and you have a tower here. So that represents your, your past. This is your present. This is your future, you guys. Okay. And then we'll tap into that. What you didn't see coming is the Two of Pentacles, you guys. Not the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords, okay. What you didn't see coming is the Two of Swords in the reverse. Now, for some of you guys here, the Two of Swords being here is telling me that there's definitely some form of a confusion here, right? What you didn't see coming, all right? Um, I feel like, you know, you may have gotten some really crazy information that doesn't make any damn sense at this point. Um, there's indecisions that's coming through back to back to back to back. And I feel like for some of you, you just had it. You're just on overload right now. Overload, overdrive, overridden. Good riddance for some of, some of these connections, okay? Now, let's get right into it, you guys. So, in the recent past, you have the eight of wands. You also have the tower in the reverse. You also have the eight of pentacles in the upright. Now, I know that you have suffered a major setback, a major arcana, you guys, all right? Um, I do feel like whatever this major arcana is, it did pop up in the reverse. Now, I really feel like there's a, a disaster of some sort. Uh, someone maybe had tried to avoid this disaster from happening. Um, but I do feel like there's a lot of fear that's coming through this major arcana. Now... There's also change that needs to happen, okay? Because change, change is, is like a necessity at this point. Um, not only is this your recent past, but even the present and what's coming, change is required. This is what I'm hearing. Change for you with a period, okay? Now, it needs to happen very fast because this is telling me that it's coming very fast. It's needed to come very fast. You're putting in a lot of work, though. This is what I see you doing. You investing, okay? You're getting something right. You're really trying to engage in your life. You're really trying to put pieces of the puzzle together as far as money and love and everything else that comes with the Eight of Pentacles. However, doing all of that in the recent past, you still did suffer major setbacks here. Um... And it really happened extremely fast for some of you guys, okay? Now, what I see here in the present is the Hierophant. The Hierophant, the moon here, and the Page of Wands, you guys. All right, so there's definitely a secret or a feeling of someone hiding something. Um, but you know what? <sighs> You do have the Hierophant here. And let me tell you something about this Hierophant, okay? Um, whenever and whenever this Hierophant comes in, regardless I'm doing, 
um, a personal read or whatever, 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 whatever I'm doing. Okay. And this Erafon shows up. It really hits the nail on the head. It tells me about spirituality. It tells me about religion. It tells me about if you're connected to your personal religion or not. It really speaks value. It tells me a lot. It tells me somebody's going to be getting their karma because when the moon comes with the Aerophon, you guys, it's all about tradition and beliefs here. It's all about if you have anything in common with this person or if they have anything in common with you. The both ways, whatever way it goes, it goes, right? But there's something that's been hiding. Maybe they're just hiding their true colors at this point, not really wanting to know how they really feel about the differences between you and them. Okay? Um, I really feel like, you know, because of all of this, this would be a Pisces, Pisces, Taurus, or whatever. But there's definitely some kind of a secret or fear, anxiety, or insecurity, or something that's causing judgment to be blocked. Okay? And because you also have this page of wands, the page of wands, the moon, the hierophant, now just know that whoever this person is that causes major arcana, this person is showing up as a page of wands. And this this reading feels so deja vu. Um, I could have sworn I picked this up when I was doing your... I think it was your next 24. It just feels like deja vu. This is how it feels right now. Like I'm just I'm just doing deja vu here. Cause whatever this is, or whatever is going on here, whoever you're connected to, I'm gonna break it down. This person is they, it's like they're a grown person and trapped in a child-like body. It's like you're this person, either you're this person's mama or you they feel like you're this person's um, daddy. That's exactly how this energy feels, okay? It's like you're going to have to guide this person all the time, okay? What you didn't see coming is a three, is a three of, of pentacles. And again, this feels like deja vu. Because this three of pentacles did show up when I did the last read. Okay. So for some of you guys, you're definitely dealing with a 24, a 48, and an old contact. Right? I feel like... Alright, so the three of pentacles, the king of swords, and the page of pentacles here. For some of you guys, it's just a hell to the knot at this time because you have invested so much of yourself as being a team with this person, trying to fix things, trying to make situations work, getting help that you need, collaborating with who that you feel like could fix this connection or on money, on love, or whatever you was doing. But this is all manifestation that you tried. Somebody was trying here hard, okay? But be, being with this person, you'll have to have a clean um, or clear thought or thinking here, okay? Because this person will take power. This person's energy is coming up as a king of swords. And then a page of pentacles in the reverse. So there's a lot of failure here, a lot of lonesomeness here, and a lot of loss. That's coming through this entire situation. And where it really leads back to. Is you dealing with the tower. Major setback. Right here. And this is your no contact read. Somebody is MIA. Missing an action. I already know that there, you know, there's a lot of confusion here. I already know that people are just not communicating or choosing not to. Why is my cover is not going on here? Somebody's being difficult. Like my cover is being difficult. It knows that it just got off, but it's still trying to be difficult. 
Somebody just want to be a pain in the ass here. Okay? But never stop doing what you need to do. Just like I just did. Okay? And got it back on. So somebody need to shut up. That's, that's how I feel. Okay? Let me see something. What is this? I still have this to clarify. That is the Queen of Swords. What is the King of Swords? The Three of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. What is this? Okay, so this could have been a soulmate situation. All right. Um, somebody's being antisocial here. And somebody's cutting ties from this connection. All right, so someone wants freedom, or somebody's feeling like they've been put on standby, a timeout here. Um, someone is in their feelings, doing the silent treatment nonsense here. Child like, all right, you're either feeling left out or, or this is them. Then again, this is, this is definitely a soulmate situation. Someone tried to invest in with the Eight of Pentacles. This could have been a twin flame. Maybe you've been friends with this person in forever. Or just some kind of a romantic a, 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 a romantic um, partnership or attraction or something. Okay. But then keep it in mind that we did have the Queen of Swords here. Um, for some of you guys, just know that you, again, you have to be a quick thinker to organize your life as accordingly as you should see fit. Um, knowing what you want over what you need at this point, no getting your independence together here, really tapping into source, getting direction, getting clarity as to where you what you need to do in your life, and making the smarter decisions for yourself. I really feel like something is changing. There's a bridge or there's a cloud that's been moving or moving away. It may seem very dark at times, but I'm hearing that you're not alone in your decision makings. Okay, I'm just keep that in mind that angels are guiding you, angels are sending help on your behalf for this no contact energy. Um, I just I do feel like you have work to be done, also, Aries. What I do work that needs to be done is very, very simple, is the cut and clear. Um, it's just uh, taking what's yours, leaving the rest, not only with your cards, but also in your life. Okay. If you know what I mean, right? All right, so this is going to be your no contact. I hope that it did resonate with you. Again, these are your quick reads, you guys. Um, I'm going to do a singles for you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Simply by leaving your initials down in the comment section of today's video. Pray for me as I'm always praying for you. And with that said, always remember to see first and you always find. Bye, guys.